Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to talk a little bit about the new iOS 4.2 and what you can expect to come for the iPhone and the iPod, the new features and stuff like that. So first of all, before I begin, um, I just want to say that this new iOS 4.2 is more focused on releasing new stuff to the iPad that the iPod and the iPhone have had for a long time now. So yeah. But it comes with some pretty cool features that it didn't have before, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk a little bit about them in this video. So the first new feature is AirPlay, and that's that's probably the biggest one because it lets you be able to stream audio and video to an Apple TV or an AirPlay-enabled third-party system or an Airport Express. But it's kind of cool because this works with any app and uh, it's, it's a two seconds delay in these apps that isn't designed for the Apple TV, I mean the AirPlay. There are some apps that is designed for the Air AirPlay like the YouTube app and the iPod. So when you are streaming your, let's say you are streaming your music from your iPod or you are streaming videos from the YouTube, it won't you know, be any delay or it would delay the video. It would, it would be a two second delay on the audio, but it, but it will also delay the video in two seconds, so it will be you know perfectly synced. But if you're playing like like a game like Angry Birds, it will be a two seconds delay on the audio, so that's not perfect, but hey. Okay, and that's the first and the biggest feature. I mean, if you have an iP Apple TV, you can stream all of your videos to that t that TV, and that's that's pretty sweet. Then we have the second new feature. It's AirPrint that basically lets you print to a wireless printer or something like that. Then we have the next thing. Oh yeah, I, I know AirPrint. I didn't talk a little that much about it, but yeah, it's boring. It's boring. You print stuff. It's kind of boring. Then the next thing is that you can find in finding page in Safari. This is a feature that has been around for the Mac and iPad for a long time, but you can also now on the iPod and iPhone search for text on a page in the mobile Safari version. So that is kind of cool. So when you search for something, you will when you scroll down to the bottom you'll see this new little thing here on this page and you see here 59 matches and you can just click here to search for that so yeah maybe not that interesting but in a new feature a new feature then this is probably one of my favorite that is going to be the new volume slider in the multitasking bar so now you can change the volume volume when you open up the multitasking so that is kind of cool I would also as the a little bit about in this text that I would rather see a um, change the screen the brightness controls here a little so you can change the brightness instead of this audio because I think the brightness it's it's kind of neat to have that in here when you open up your multitasking bar you just change it pretty quick because when I have to change it, I need to go into settings and stuff like that and it's so annoying so annoying but still it, it's kind of cool it's kind of cool. So the next thing here is also very good. It is if you want to disable these volume changes. Let's say you have you want your alarm on your iPod or iPhone to be at the highest volume as possible, okay? And then you go ahead and let's say you want to play a game or something like that, and then you lower the volume. Then you could turn off as when you change the volume with the buttons, buttons it won't change the system sound. So you always have your system sound to be at the highest volume as possible even though you change the volume with your buttons on your iPod or iPhone. So that is very good, very good. I'm going to have that on, of course. Then we have a new feature only for the iPhone. It's the Messages app. They have three big changes there and the first one is you now have a little FaceTime icon so you can quickly load that up. Then the second thing, maybe not that interesting, but it's a new feature, it's that Apple has introduced 17 new 17 new text alert sounds, so nah, yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. And yeah, you can't have your own custom, because Apple don't allow that, they don't like you have your custom things. 
because you maybe you have like a dirty song or something like that and they they don't want that let's turn down tweet take it's annoying okay and then the third third new feature here in the messages app is you can now assign individual text tones to each contact the same way you can do for ringtones to a specific um, users you have in your phone book or something like that so that is kind of good then they have some minor changes you know they've changed the built-in notes app and you can now change the font yeah that that's really cool and they also changed the icon for the voice memos app and yeah that's that's really minor changes it's not that interesting and then they obviously have made some bug fixes like when you try to connect to facebook or twitter that you can't connect they have fixed it they say but yeah it's not that much but that is the new features and stuff in the ipod and iphone so yeah i'm going to do a second video about the ipad what's new there it's a lot of new things to the ipad that doesn't come or some new features that iPad doesn't have had that iPod, iPod and iPhone have had so it's definitely iPad everyone has, that got an iPad is going to celebrate like hey we have some cool features now that the iPhone and the iPod have had for a very long time so yeah guys if you like this video please go to the and I'll see you guys next time bye